clay's a little dried out too. I'm trying to get some fresh clay. Mix up. If it's dried out, you can kind of, and this is good practice, cone it up and down like this. It'll work a little bit of water into it. Just try not to let it rip. Did y'all hear that little clicking noise that was happening? That's the bat wobbling around on the bat pins, the little uh, bowl head sticking up. If that happens, what I usually do, and I usually do this just to stick it in place anyway, because most of mine used to be worn out, I would just put three balls of clay underneath of it and smash it down on there real hard, and then it sticks it in place. It's not so bad that I'm worried about it. I centered it. That's a good diameter to work with. I'll open it up about the width of my tool. smooth the bottom out. Before I do it all the way, I'm going to check it's a better thickness. And then we'll seal that hole back up just by taking my fingers over it a couple times. center the rim just to make sure it doesn't rip. And get underneath the slip and that first pull is going to be a big one. Just to get that all the way up. And the next one I'm going to take my thumb underneath of it. Start it a little bit. And then I'm going to get under there and grab it not be afraid to just move that clay right up the side. Notice the wheel speed, it's you know not too fast. The taller you get, the slower you should definitely go. Again, cut a little bit of a lip underneath. Reach in there, my thumb's still touching my other hand. off the pressure as I come up. Noticing how even the rings are. Recenter the rim. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and take off some of this. You know, shoot. And you're not going to get it right off, but shoot for three pulls. So get it up there, and then the last one's with the tool. I'm going to come in, tipping it away from myself. Pushing more with the outside hand into the tool because it's the harder surface. And bring that up nice and even. I'm actually going ahead and do clean the tool off. If you leave too much slip, too much clay on there, you're likely to grab it and twist the piece off. Push under. One more to get it nice. This is going to be square. Now I'm going to come under it with this at about 45 degree angle. Cut that away. Smooth that back out. Okay. If 
necessary, go ahead and remove some water from the inside so it doesn't crack. And then you go and practice doing this, wrapping these plastic or chamois over the top of it. You could also use your fingers like this and that soft spot between them. Get that nice and round.